Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another Lego Harry Potter review, and this one's on the Hufflepuff House Banner set. So, on the front of the box here, we which have the Lego Harry Potter logos, and using the little logo, and picture of the banner opening up and everything there is. And also three images, of course. And then recommended ages 9 and up. Set number uh, 76412 has 313 pieces. And on the back box, see which has the banner fully opened up and 3 images again. And also all the banner sets, which I have also reviewed, of course. And yeah. Instruct manual, which fully opened up, and also plain background again, of course. Also, how Lego is turning over to paper bags and add for the Lego Builder app. That's on the back, add for the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Then out of all the banner sets of this current wave and the last building steps. <clears throat> First off, with as for the mini thing. First off is Cedric Diggory, which the uh, face print and hair piece, kind of the same as we had with the previous version, which probably came in a collectible minifig series, as well as some DK book. But also has that uh, sweater design, which is kind of like we saw with some of the other house uh, banner sets, but this time with the but Hufflepuff look to it. And then next to which is, oh, it is Hannah Abbott, oh, which hair piece is kind of similar to what we have with Luna Lovegood, and also inter, oh, which good face printing and also so nice torso printing, of course. And last of which is Susan Bones. Which hair piece, same as as Moaning Myrtles, but except is in the ginger kind of coloring to it, which is, which you can definitely use on most custom figs if you wanted. And also face printing, kind of interesting, with with a couple of freckles underneath there, and also torso printing, which is kind of similar to some of the other house banner sets, but of course with the Hufflepuff attire, and but also, none of which have any, uh, any leg printing, but that's okay. Then, on the back sides of each of the ones. Which I see, do all the, like, double side faces and back torso printings for each of them. And that's about it with the mini things. And then so now on to the three D picture kind of card bit, which as he has a couple large windows above with a cactus kind of plant and a odd kind of plant and of course a mandrake coming in and out of a pot or flower pot of course and also in the center uh, Helga Griffin 
or Helga Hufflepuff, which with her uh, cheering on, of course. Now, one side is well planted in some flower pots, of course. And then down below, a little fireplace there. And also, uh, so Niffler from Fantastic Beasts just popping in and out through the curtains and also climbing onto the barrel, grabbing a coin, of course. And of course, the fire changing a bit. Fade. But also, also, a little disclaimer this actual set does have some more Fantastic Beasts reference to it, which we'll see. Now onto the Hufflepuff banner uh, build itself, which as you see, it's a build of which quite like the other banner sets of this wave, but of course with the uh, yellow and black fitting to the Hufflepuff attire, and of course quite thin, also like the others, of course. And also as for the like design with the plates around, this kind of which. It's kind of good for how it is, and also on top of which it does have like new hanging kind of piece it's that allows you to like hang it on the wall and all. Of course. And also do have in the center the large tile piece with the Hufflepuff symbol on there in the court, and now to open it up. Like that. And also with this one, like the rest of which, a few things you have to pop off for that. And of course, as you can see, and I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is probably the most accessories included with any of these sets. Yeah. So my first off is this little dessert table with a few of the different cupcake pieces in different colors, and of course, small round tiles with either cookies or donuts on them and round part underneath, like in the Slytherin banner of set. And also this research treasure chest piece, but with the like flat top with studs on it, which kind of helps with being on the banner or back part of the banner parts. And you can flip that open and do have a few little utensils and a pair of scissors, of course. In the upside down plant leaf piece with a few bits to it and a couple flower pieces on there, simple. And also the uh, watering pot piece, it's which probably, probably seen in Friends or something, but at least good to see here as well. And also this. A little pumpkin piece, which kind of kind of like we had with an uh, Hagrid's hut a few years ago, but also nice to see here on one of those top bottom banner pieces. And also one of these uh, plant leaf pieces with one of those little stud pieces underneath the horse, and also a little chair build made of a few yellow pieces. So and a couple of studs up to connect it to the back of the banner or parts of horse. Now for this side of the banner, which do have a little couch-like seating area build, but at least as part of the build, like we saw in some of the other banner sets, of course, and also like the other banner sets, the little archway-like build to it. But what's a little different with this one is does have one of those snot-like bricks that 
attach one of these uh, line pieces to it and have a little lantern like piece on the side. And you see that? Oh, see that? There's actually Newt's Commander and Niffler with another hint of Fantastic Beasts in this set. So, although this kind of gives me a bit of hope, and maybe all of you will be a bit of hope as well for some other Fantastic Beasts sets like that there could be eventually, but yeah. Well, could there be any others down the line? Hopefully, but yeah. But as for this one side of which, I have kind of a few opening spots for the uh, hole or holes for or window like spots for the 3D image part of it. And of course, some more of those like odd pieces there, but in brown, of course. But lower down, a which had the recent trophy piece on there, and an open window spot for the Niffler part of the 3D, 3D image. And of course, in the center, a little uh, fireplace here with a clip part used for the watering pot of, included here with the set. And also do have those small triangular kind of bricks up on top of that. Some more open spots for that. And also a little under, or I mean, upside down archway spot, but for the, but showing the Hufflepuff symbol, or coloring, of course. And on this side of which, a couple more of that. And also a couple of round uh, tile pieces, but also with some stickers on them. Probably representing barrels or something. And also a little Nexa Knight's shield piece. But with the Hufflepuff symbol on it. And, and also a few rows of books around and one of which that representing one of the Hogwarts moments set books from a couple of years ago but yeah and as for this other side which good symmetry to the other other uh, archway build event but the uh, vine part of which is actually upside down and on the opposite side of course and also a couple reverse tiles there with different stickers on them then underneath the witch, around this other kind of seating area, and a sticker there that's probably representing like a little cabinet or a cupboard of some kind, but yeah. there. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, overall, I think this is a quite good set for how it is. Like, despite of having a couple of references, or of course, one of the pluses are the inclusions of Cedric Diggory, which we barely see in much sets, but also one of the big highlights is uh, the mention of Newt's Commander and Niffler of Fantastic Beasts, which hopefully they, we like, hopefully LEGO gets around to at some point, Ho like hopefully really soon, but let's see. And of course, nice to see some like plant matters in one of these sets like obviously the mandrake shown in the 3d image of course and of course some bits here kind of representing that but also as for the whereas for the minifig section good to have a couple that are exclusive to this one even though the whereas the others of which also kind of did that kind of did so as well unlike with the ravenclaw one that had exclusive variants of ones. But of course, in this case, that was Cedric Diggory that was exclusive, but at least the other two, which are exclusive, of course, but yeah. 
And also with this, you do get plenty of good uh, free colors of pieces that you can use for mocking, of course, but yeah. And so now, if you are looking to get this set for your set collection, well, definitely pick it up. And if you are in Hufflepuff and are also definitely get, also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell icon. And thanks for watching.